Yo, what is up guys, Shinobi Evie here back again with another video for you guys, and today ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about if you should summon on this banner, they have brought back C for your own world, Yorichi, and Soifon, now the last banner, at least for me, I was trying to get Soifon and Yorichi, I got Yorichi, but I didn't get Soifon, I also got Toshiro, so I was like, yo, we got two out of three, we're looking good right there, but, if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more of these. I'm feeling a lot better for, compared to the last video. You know, I was really sick yesterday, but thank God I'm better now. Not completely back to normal, but hey, we are here, and let's go ahead and just get into this. So, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. So, as you can see, we got, you know, see for your own world, Yorichi Soifon being the main ones you want to get. It's going to be available on the 6th, so that's going to be actually today. So, it should be available right now. Uh, actually, no, not today, not yet. Uh, that's going to be at 11 o'clock my time, so, and that's ending at uh, the 13th, so, got a little bit of time to do it, but let's see what we got here, so we got, of course, the Yorichi and Soifon, Yorichi being really, really decently good, in fact, me personally, I've had, I have all of the characters here, this Yorichi is the one you want to get if you're going to go for it, and also this Yama, though, this Yama kind of needs to upgrade because he's been, I don't think, he, he's, he hasn't been upgraded at all recently, let's just keep it a buck, and since there's a lot of people running around with you know getting past the revive and also getting rid of the 10 second invincibility like yama's kind of getting blasted at the moment then of course there's also soy fun who gives you a boost and also shield really useful for helping clear it and then there's also kenpachi who's also really really good for i mean link slots mostly so that's also a thing and then of course you also got see for your world versions of you know you know, Shunsui, and then you all top of that got her as well. I cannot remember her name to save my life, but um, she was part of the whole thing with Hikome and everything. Either way, it's just, it's a decent banner. It's a decent banner, but main ones you want to be looking at, of course, is Yorichi, obviously. She has a wrong card killer. She has strong attack recharge for her soul trait. Not really anything crazy, but the main thing is the, you know, recover 20% stamina, sprinter, marauder. And then on top of that, she has the fact that she has Berserker, Devastation, Element Reversal, Status Element, Boost Pressure for 80. You know, damage inflicted at full stamina plus 20, debilitator 5 seconds, Frenzy, Havoc. And on top of that, increased Status Element chance against my entry enemies, making it really, really good. As for her tip that she has, I mean, it's decent, it's alright, but it could definitely be better. Now, Arena Traits is whatever also, because they're definitely a lot better characters you'll be running in Arena. And mostly, for the most part, anyways, not a lot of people talk about Arena as it is, so it doesn't really matter too much. Now, as for Soifon, she has Soul Reaper and Captain, you know, killer for that. Uh, not, not killer, she's Soul Reaper and Captain, you know, killer is for no affiliation. Then on top of that, she has some normal attack damage for her Soul Trait. Then we have Sprinter, Guard Break, Fire Duration, minus 100. No, nothing crazy, but the guard break is also really useful. Bruiser, Berserker, plus 30. Flurry, debilitator for 5 seconds. Enhancer, obviously, you know, getting the boost. multi barrier so she's going to be giving herself the 5 barrier and the rest of the team 3. We also got strong recharge time for 12%, which is really nice. Team and party power, attribute capture, normal attack damage is really, really decent. Then, uh, other than that, you know, nothing crazy. Um, in fact, me personally... The only reason I'm trying to get her is because she's one of my favorite units in the game outside of Yorichi, who is a part of Seafarer World, along with Toshiro as well. Now, moving on to the Yama. Once again, this dude, he needs an upgrade. He hasn't been really shown a lot, or I wouldn't say shown a lot, because you do see him a lot on Brave Battles, but I would say he hasn't had an upgrade for a while, and I'm pretty sure, like, he, he kind of needs it. But at the same time, you gotta realize that the first, when this character first came out, you know... I bet they had to nerf him because he had like the most broken kit back then until now. Now there's a bunch of characters running around with Brave Battle you know, invincibility and ignoring this. And the last ditch is also kind of useless because Yama, you know, Yama, he, he's not doing anything to Yuha. Yuha is just rampant, rampant everywhere, like completely. And to top it all off, we got so many characters who have this now. So definitely needs the upgrade, but he does have Bruiser, 50%, Berserker, Flurry, Debilitator, Poise, and on top of that, Prevent Brave Battle Healing, Drain Duration, minus 100, Weaken Duration, minus 100, and Sprinter plus 1, which isn't half bad. So, you know, it's not bad. Um, other than that, I mean, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't know, Seafair World, Jushiro, and I guess Shantui, they're alright, but I wouldn't say they're the best. Like I said, the main ones you want to probably be going for is going to end up being Yorichi, Soifon, and maybe Yama, or even Kenpachi for that matter, for Link Slot Potions if you don't have a unit already. 
But other than that, that that's pretty much going to be it. So, other than that, should you summon on this banner, which is the main question of the day here, I would say if you really want these characters or if they're brand new for you, go for it. Like, if you're getting into the game right now, go for it. Especially right now. Because when that banner goes up, we're still going to have the Revelations banner. I'm pretty sure Revelations banner... Oh, no, Revelations... Yeah, Revelations banner is still going to be up. So, for those of you guys who want, like, these three characters, probably, because these are really good... And on top of that, to see for your own world characters and you're brand new to the game, then this would be the banner you want to go for because, like, you know, you got a chance of getting three ridiculously OP characters in Tenzo Zangetsu, Ichigo, and of course Ishin. And then on top of that, see for your own world, you know, like I said before, Yorichi, best one in there. Then you want to go for Soy Front after that. And then after that, you would want to probably go for Kenpachi or Yama. So, overall, really good right there so if you're brand new i would say go for it if not unless you're really wanting i would say soifan yama or probably even kenpachi like then i wouldn't go for it. like if you already have these characters like even one out of five like unless you're trying to five out of five some of these guys then i would say it's not worth it it's all up to who you want to go for you know keep in mind that anniversary is coming up we got end of the month banner also where they've been you know launching a lot of hype stuff coming up right now so all up to you, but just keep an eye on your orbs because, of course, you know, we got anniversary coming up pretty soon and the time is moving. So, well, for further ado, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Me personally, I don't think I'm going for it. I might because I really, really, really want this soy farm, even though this game hates giving it to me. It really depends on how many orbs I have when she comes around, but from the looks of it, I probably won't even go for it. I might just save for either end of the month, depending on what they got. Or, you know, just save for anniversary because, of course, we got swimsuit units, of course, between that point as well. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, tell me if you guys are going to summon for these guys or not. You know, how many steps you're going to go for. And without further ado, this is going to be Shinobi Eevee signing off. I'll see you guys in another video, and I'm out of here.